Hi guys, so welcome to week 10 I think it is. Uh, a lot of videos, so hopefully you've been enjoying them over these last 10 weeks. So um, the songs we're going to work on today are all based on songs by Mark Ronson. So um, if you don't know who he is, check him out. I guarantee you will have heard some of his songs. Um, the first one we're going to do is called Valerie. It's not actually the song wasn't written by Mark Ronson. It was written by a band called the Zootons. You, sh you should check out the original as well. Um, what we're going to do is we've I put it into an easier key, so the chords aren't as tricky uh, for this. Just because this is the beginner group, um, it, maybe at some point in the future we'll have a go at playing it in the original key. Um, so you only need to know the following chords. You need to know how to play a D, an A an E minor, a G, and an F sharp minor. Now the hardest of those is gonna be the F sharp minor because I'm gonna make you do a bar chord. Bar chords aren't the most comfortable chords, but they're amazing, because once you learn how to play them, you can play so many chords. So, uh, we're gonna start off. In fact, I'll, I'll play it for you to start with. <laughs> Okay, and so on. So, um, this is just a shortened version of the original. Um, once you've learned these parts, hopefully you'll get an idea of how to play the original song as well. So, I have made you a backing track that we're going to play along to together afterwards. Uh, so, we're starting with a D chord. So, just to recap your D, you need to put your first finger on the second fret, third string. Your second finger on the second fret, first string. And your third finger on the third fret, second string. We're not playing the 6th and 5th strings, so we're playing from the 4th string down. And we're going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Then change to an E minor chord. Okay, so to do this, we're going to put your 2nd finger on the 2nd fret, 5th string. And your 3rd finger on the 2nd fret, 4th string. This time around we're going to strum all the strings for eight beats again. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So if we put those to get together, we'd have this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We're going to repeat them. Seven, eight, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so next up we need to play a G chord. We have done this before in a few of the other videos, but in case you're new to this, um, this is what we do. So first finger on the second fret fifth string, second finger on the third fret sixth string, and third finger on the third fret first string. We're going to play all your strings for four beats, like this. One, two, three, four. Which leads us on to the awkward chord. Okay, you need to play an F sharp minor. So this is where bar chords come in handy. Now, I know I always say to you to pause the video, you will need to do that this time. And this chord is the kind of chord that will most likely take you a few weeks to really get the hang of, but I'd still like you to try it. So. To do it, you need to flatten your entire index finger across the second fret, every string. And that's what you call a bar. Um, this is tricky, because you need to make sure you get every note sounding nice and clear. What will happen, I guarantee it, is you'll get certain notes that sound like this. That's fine, you just need to 
stick with it, squeeze as hard as you can, move your wrist round, and just make sure your finger's nice and tight. Okay, so to that we're going to add your third finger to the fourth fret fifth string, and little finger on the fourth fret fourth string. And we're going to strum all the strings for four beats. One, two, three, four. So if we put G and F sharp together, you've got G, two, three, four, F sharp minor, two, three, four. We're going to do that sequence three times round like this. I would literally just practice that on its own, to be honest with you. Um, once you've done that, we've only got one more chord to go actually, so it's just an A chord, which we have done before in the past. So that's first finger on the second fret fourth string, second finger on the second fret third string, and third finger on the second fret second string. We're not going to play your sixth string, so we're playing from the fifth string down, and we're just going to count to eight beats like this. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight. Okay, so those are the parts that you need to know. Those are the chords you need to know. Um, as I normally do in the play along video, I'll label up which chord comes at which point so you know what you're doing just before it, you, you're about to play it. Um, so if you could practice those chords when you feel comfortable with them, have a go at the uh, play along video with me. All right, have a nice week, guys. Thank you.